we're here today to uh, launch Adventure Illustrated, the first issue of a new ongoing series that uh, Tim McEwen and Michael McAlandos and myself are putting together. It's an anthology title of uh, Australian characters and stories. My stories for the first issue include uh, Cyclone Force, which is uh, continuing adventures of my Flush Domingo and the Jackaroo characters. And uh, I also have Red Kelso at the back of the book, which is a pulp adventure set in the 30s. That is an ongoing series. It first ran online, but it's now being printed in uh, Adventure Illustrated. This is the first signing I've done for a very long time, really. And it's, uh, it's actually really exciting, again, to be on the right side of the desk again, doing the signing and meeting people and doing um, sketches and um, all of that kind of stuff. Talking to people, meeting people, it's been great. Initially, it was about a boar who uh, gets bored of farm life, gets onto his hind legs and moves into the city and then all of a sudden realises that people eat meat. So originally it was um, a bit of a satire of a number of my friends who are animal activists, although the story that we're presenting in Adventure Illustrated happens at about a time in life where Trevor, the main character, is middle-aged and for years he's been searching for other animals like him who talk and hasn't been able to find anyone. And then on top of that, there's an old man who's walked out of the ocean, covered in barnacles, uh, who is giving us a dire, giving humanity a dire warning uh, about the floods. Uh, and now we're gonna see how Trevor hooks into that, what, what Trevor's role in that is. So Trevor's real reason for the, for the way that he just got up off his four legs on the farm and was able to talk and was standing on two legs, we're gonna find, finally find out what that's all about. I don't get out very often for these kind of things, so it's a bit of an event to get me. I'm based down in Hobart in Tasmania, so getting up to Sydney, the big smoke, and uh, interacting with the readers of the comics and with fellow creators as well is always good fun. So at the moment, uh, people should be able to get the book here at King's Comics uh, in Sydney. Uh, they've, they've got stock. Uh, but uh, once the signing is over, we'll be setting up a, an online store as well. So if you missed out on the Kickstarter, you'll still be able to get it. Um, I've got old copies of old Greener Pastures, as does King's Comics here. There'll be plenty of places to get it.